Good morning! These are the french fries that I'm eating right now. Oh man, they are so good. I have missed french fries. I haven't had french fries in a long time. But I saved these from Cowfish last night and um, I guess they changed their fries. I guess they're thicker cut than they used to be. I really like the fries. I don't know if you guys can tell but they're like super well done because I had to toast them so I could heat them up. And um, they do taste better, more well done, I will say that. So there you go. And then I have my mayonnaise and ketchup mixture that is the most delicious thing to put on your french fries. Yum! All right, the bean boo is just like right next to me. He won't leave my side, except for right now, I guess. But I believe it's because it's probably about to storm. So there are the clouds kind of like rolling in there. It looks like it's a fairly big storm, so I imagine it'll start raining here pretty soon. <laughs> but you know what that does mean is that I don't have to mow the lawn because it's gonna rain. And you can't mow the lawn in the rain. But what I do have to do is fold two loads of laundry and another load in here and put this stuff away. So I, I got some stuff I gotta do. Oh, so there was something I wanted to show you guys because I had to take everything that was on the shelf that you guys mailed us. We had like all of your mail on this shelf over here. And there seems to be, I don't, I'm sure you guys can sort of see this, but do you see this? It looks kind of like bumpy and like maybe there's some water damage. Um, there definitely is. There's, I wish I could show you better, but you can kind of see it's like discolored here and the wall itself is kind of like warped, like it's kind of bumpy, like it's wavy now. Uh, so the things that were here on the shelf, which were the things that you guys sent us, were getting damp. So I had to move everything because I was cleaning the shelf off and I realized that it was actually kind of damp uh, and I'm guessing it's because of this, whatever is going on back here. So I had to move everything. So I just didn't want you guys to see us vlogging and then not see your stuff and go, wait a minute, where's my stuff that I mailed you? So it is here. I just wanted it to stay protected from the water, the moisture. So yeah. <laughs> So that's fun, we have a leak. Okay, so it is storming outside. It's not as loud as it was the other day when you guys could hear like all the thunder and all the lightning, but it is going to probably sound like that pretty soon. So I think I found something that kind of works for Bandit and I'm, kind, I'm really, really happy about it. I took this blanket, this cute little dog bone like fleece throw that we got in the mail from one of you guys, which we love, thank you. And I just kind of like wrapped Bandit. I, I kind of like doubled him up here, but I wrapped him super tight like a burrito in this blanket. I just kind of like wrapped it over, wrapped it over, wrapped it over and like tucked it under him. So he's like a little, a little bean burrito basically. So a little bean burrito. And then I took this other throw, which we just always have on the couch, but, and I put that over him too. Oh, I didn't realize how close up I was. You guys couldn't see anything. Sorry about that. Um, kind of wrapped that around him a little bit as well. So I read on the internet, I'm actually going through your comments, it was something that one of you guys had mentioned, that they like to be kind of wrapped tight. They like to feel constricted almost. I think it has something to do with static in the air. I'm not totally sure, but um, it really helps. It really does help to kind of like wrap them super tight in something, which I guess is the whole idea of the Thunder shirt. And then here's, here's the Mon Mon. But I guess it's the similar idea to the Thunder Shirt. The Thunder Shirt is just like a super tight piece of fabric that you wrap around your dog. Like the dog torso, I guess. So I just wanted to give you guys the update on the scared little bean. He's not doing too bad today, so this is good. Although he does still look a little bit frightened, he's not as like anxious as he normally is when it's raining. Okay, he's still doing pretty good. No freaking out. He's not like digging into the carpet and doing like, you know, when dogs are anxious, he's not doing any of those things. So I think that's a good sign. I think the bean burrito is the uh, solution to the storm phobia. I think, I mean, he's not panting or anything like this. I'm actually really, really happy about this. I think we did it. I think we did it. All right, so I am getting dinner ready. Tim's gonna be home super soon, making some spaghetti and some uh, rotini, rotelli, the like spirally ones. Those are our favorite noodles. So, uh, oh, but this was weird. It never actually rained. How weird is that? We just had like a, a weird thunder sound, like it was thundering. I don't know if it was actually lightning because I wasn't out here, but there was a lot of thunder and then no rain. Super bright and sunny, <laughs> very strange. Happy Monday. I'm so tired, so tired. Holy macaroni am I tired, man. But I'll tell you what, 
We're gonna, like, Monday's happening, so let's Monday it up on the Monday Monday talk show. So one of the things that I feel like I've asked you guys a lot is like, where would you eat at Disney? Or like, what kind of stuff do you guys like to do at Disney? I feel like after coming back from Universal yesterday, I haven't asked you guys enough. Like, what do you guys like to do at Universal? Like, what's your favorite ride at Universal? And is there a place that you guys really like to eat or like, like to go before the parks or like to do at Universal? Like, leave me some comments down below, like letting me know every time that you're in town or that you go to Universal, you have to go do this, have to go eat there, have to go get this one particular thing that's only available in this one particular spot at Universal. Let me know. Somebody just sent me a picture of the sunset from Universal and I came out here to show to you guys. It doesn't look very awesome. It's just kind of like blue skies, pretty much. Like if I could see down there, it might be awesome, but I can't. Ding darn. All right guys, I don't know what it was about last night, but for whatever reason, I couldn't sleep very well. So now, as a result, I'm very tired today. Uh, I need to go to bed. <laughs> I'm like dying, I'm falling asleep on the couch. I have to go to bed so that I can like get the proper amount of sleep to like actually do something the next day. So here's looking towards the tomorrow's video, at least like being a real rambunctious one, if you know what I mean, see? So I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.